Now this little lecture is going to be on disassembling uh, machine code instructions for the MSP430. So how do we do this? How do we disassemble MSP430 machine code? So over on the, the left, we have uh, the addresses here. R0 is another name for the P's program counter, so the program counter is pointing right here at the moment. And uh, our program then starts at C000. And we have this data here that's in, in, the, uh, in the memory, and we want to disassemble it to see what the program would do if we start executing here at C000. So first of all, we begin with the PC pointing to the first word in program memory. We retrieve the instruction word, and we de increment the PC byte. So here we go. So we retrieve the first instruction word. And if you look at here, these first two nibbles are the 4-0. The second two nibbles are the 3-1. And uh, so that is binary for the instruction code. So we write it in binary because it's easier to decode in binary. And then we advance the program counter by 2. Now we... Uh, list the instruction mnemonic using the opcodes, so that's uh, um, bits uh, 12 to 14, that's the most significant bits over here. These uh, tell us what the opcode is, so we'd look up in a table to find out what 0100 is for an opcode. Then the next place over here is some, one of these bits over here, like the sixth one or something, I've forgotten 6 over, I've forgotten maybe it's 6 over here, but I think it's somewhere over here. It will tell us um, one of those bits is uh, a zero for a word and one for a, a byte operation. We, we add that dot B or dot W to the opcode. So that's the first step. Let's see how that works. So here we go. Um, you can see whether it's a six bit over here. That's the B and the W bit. Here's the four bit opcode. This is the destination address bit. And these are the two bits for the source uh, addressing mode. This is the source register, and that's the destination register. So we need to look up in a table what 0100 is. So uh, here's our table. We look for that 0100. It looks like it's a move instruction. And so uh, next thing we need to look at is the uh, ad uh, source address um, addressing mode. So that would be... Uh, well, we got to put the dot, dot w on here because let's see the oh no it's actually a dot b let's see was, we got to count over six so this is four five six but then this is really the zeroth bit so it's actually that zero so it's going to be a dot w so that's the next thing and then we have to look at the uh, the addressing mode so there's the dot w and now let's look at the addressing mode. So the addressing mode is 1-1. One, one. That's actually increment in indexed. So um, if it's a double operation, we would uh, need to look at the next, uh, the next word. And um, this is a 1-1 one, one, uh, source address. So I think that was incremented index. Let's see. No, it's immediate. 1-1 one, one was immediate. Okay, so 1-1 one, one is immediate, which means we need the next, the next word. And that next word is the byte, so it's going to be 400, 0x400, 0 400, um, right there. And uh, now we've got rid of the source addressing mode. Let's look at the... Uh, um, let's look at uh, this one right here, which is the... Uh, the destination mode, that's register, so that means we're just going to store it in the destination register, which is the one over here, which is de um, uh, register 1. So that's going to go in register 1. So we're looking for the destination address, and it's register 1. There it is. Okay, so now let's see, we're ready to disassemble the next word. 
So we've, uh, we've got the uh, program counter down pointing at the next word. We re uh, we'll finish this last one here. Now we retrieve this next word. It looks like it's another move instruction. And uh, we increment the program counter. Um, and now we uh, separate out, uh, you know, the bits according to the kind of instruction it is. It's a four-bit instruction here. It's a four-bit opcode. And the source register looks like the source register is zero. Um, the destination mode, address destination mode, is uh, one. And um, we've got the... Uh, source destination mode is 1-1 one, one again so and the, and the destination register is 10 so so that means uh, we've got a move instruction the uh, let's see this is the uh, it's the, still a dot w so we move dot w and then um, we uh, increment the program counter because this is an immediate instruction we want immediate and then we want um, 5A80 is going to go in the immediate. And then we've got to get um, the destination here. So we advance the program counter. And uh, we need to uh, retrieve the absolute uh, operand and increment the PC by 2. So. Um, it looks like it's a 0, 0120, it's the ampersand, and a 0, 1, x 120 So we're going to get the whatever's in that address right there, and now we've got to increment the PC. And basically we're done with that instruction, and we're ready to grab the next one, 42F7. So we grab that, put it in binary, and uh, increment the PC. And look at uh, what that uh, what that might be. So it's still four, which is uh, a four-bit opcode. So we can uh, use this uh, format one instruction. And um, looks like the source register is um, register two. And uh, Looks like the uh, it's immediate again. It's going into register 15, but uh, um, it's a dot B operation, and it's uh, um, well, let's just keep going here. So move, it's the move, and it's a dot B because that one was a dot B. And we increment the PC, and then it's an immediate again. And uh, notice that this is a special constant, immediate 8. So uh, that means we won't have to uh, grab that number out of the next address, because that's a special constant, and just move it into, uh, move, move it into register 15. And so we're basically done with this one, because our constant was a... Uh, we were moving that, moving, uh, um, moving immediate eight. So, so anyway, that one is done. Now we do with the next one, and this one looks like a different kind of instruction. At least it's not a move instruction. So we're going to have to look at what kind of instruction it might be. It looks like uh, when we look at the. Uh, um, table, it's going to be uh, one of those 9-bit uh, opcode instructions. Got to advance the PC. We find it down in the table and it's a call instruction. So we call and then uh, we look at whether it's a dot .w or dot .b. So it's a dot .w, call dot .w. The addressing mode is immediate. Um, and uh, we advance the PC down here, so immediate it's going to go to C012. So that's what goes in the immediate thing, and we've decoded that. So we're going to jump to C012, which is actually this little place down here. But we still keep um, we still keep uh, 
um, going down the line with the way we have. We need to advance the PC and now we're going to do the next instruction. So this one right here, we look at this one and we have to spread it out. Looks like um, well, we got to figure out whether it's a 9-bit or 4-bit or instruction. You have to look in the table for that. Advance the PC and we look at it, it's a, one of those 6-bit opcodes. Uh, so um, we need to look up the 001111 opcode. And the 001111 opcode, we found it's a jump instruction, unconditional jump. Then we look and it's a dot B. I don't know, it's a just jump. Uh, this is, oh, I'm sorry, it's just a 10-bit opcode that tells us where to go. And so, basically, this number right here is minus 4. <clears throat> and the reason you have to multiply it by 2, because there's 2 bytes per address. So we go minus 4 times 2, that's minus 8. And then we have to add it to where we are over here. 0xc is 0, 012. And that becomes 0xc0a. So that's we're gonna it's gonna be uh, going right to that point right there. And then we go down to the subroutine that we were calling here and uh, grab the uh, machine lang language for that and we increment the PC and we uh, parse it out. Notice this time it's one of these four-bit instructions, 1000. We have to look that up in the table. It, that turns out to be a subtraction instruction. It's a dot W and it's um, it looks like the addressing mode is immediate one, which is one of those special constants. And then the destination register is 15. So we can crank up the PC and uh, we put the 15 in and we're done with that. Then we got to decode this, this next line. Uh, grab the instruction. We have to find out what kind of uh, you know, opcode it is. But we got to advance the PC first. We look at it, it's one of those six bit things. Probably another jump one. Jump not equal in this case. And uh, then there's this 10 bit opcode. So we advance the PC, and it's uh, that's a minus two. That's that number 11111, whatever, with a finally a zero on the end. And then we have to multiply by two because it's in words. And uh, that gives us where we're going to jump to, and we jump to that point right there. And there's one more instruction to decode or disassemble. So we grab it. It's a move. We move the PC ahead. We uh, look at what this is. Uh, this is it's a move again. We look at it. Looks like a dot W. And we uh, look at the addressing mode um, with. Um, this being a, a 1 and that being a 1-1, one, one, that's um, indirect, indexed. And uh, then uh, we want to put the destination mode, R0, on there. And guess what? We're done. You know, at least down to the end of where we got code. So that's how you disassemble instructions in MSP430 code. Um, so anyway, here's a summary. Begin with the PC pointing to the first word in the program. Retrieve the instruction. Increment the PC by two. Find and list the corresponding instruction mnemonic using the opcode um, table. Most uh, significant bits, and then maybe uh, it's up to between four and nine bits, depending on what opcode it is. Pen the dot B or dot W. And then if it's a, a double operand instruction, decode and list the source operand. And uh, if it's a single operand instruction, decode and list the destination, or single or double, you know, do the destination operand. And if it's a jump uh, instruction, you've got to uh, extend the 10-bit offset, multiply by two, and add the current PC. 
and that's the address it goes to. So here's a quiz for you. See if you can disassemble the following MSP430 instructions. This will take you a little while, so I think you should pause the video here. I'll actually stop it and get ready for the next one, but we'll let you work on this quiz.